Good morning, Jocelyn fans and Facebook Live. I'm Rebecca, the program director here at the Jocelyn Center, and this is episode 70. Oh my word, episode 70 of the Jocelyn Variety Show. Um, so today is our Monday morning update. So we have Veronica here to do a quick warm up with us, and then Jack is going to give us a little update on the Jocelyn Center and where we are at so far. Um, but first, and very, very importantly, I want to remind you that tomorrow is bingo. We have Bling and Bingo every Tuesday at 2 o'clock here on Facebook Live. Um, and I really want to encourage you to come and to play with us. Um, all you need is a card, a bingo card, or two if you want to play with two cards. And if you don't already have a bingo card at home, then feel free to call me or email me, and I will get you a bingo card so that you can play with us. It's totally free to play. We do play for prizes. Um, and you get to hang out with me and Paul for an hour, which is always a lot of fun. So don't forget, tomorrow at 2 o'clock is bingo. Um, and we have tons of other programming throughout the week, too. So if you haven't already checked out our website at jocelyncenter.org, there is a calendar on there that I am updating every single day and adding, um, adding programming to, adding guest speakers to, adding um, lectures and health events that the other business partners are having. So please check out our website and our calendar because there is tons to do every day while you are home. But in the meantime, we're going to do the most important thing, which is to move our bodies a little bit. Yeah? Yep. Let's do it. I can help out there. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. All right, let's get marching, whether you're seated or standing. Just get ourselves moving. Get ourselves energized. And focused. Focused on the fact that we're moving a little bit, and that feels good. Feels good while we're doing it. Feels good after we're done. You always feel glad that you did. Okay. All right, so let's tap our heels forward. Tap. So you're actually squatting down a little bit, bending your knees and then tapping the heels, you're placing the heels exactly where I'm gonna put that heel. So everything you do when you're uh, exercising, when you're warming up, going through your exercise routine, um, cooling down, very, it's very deliberate. You don't throw any limbs out there. You always control your moves so you protect yourselves. So let's test, tap the, the foot out to the side. Just tap to the side, tap to the side. So from your hips down, you're doing your move. From your hips up, it's pretty much just staying where it is. So just reach out. Placing, and then we're gonna tap behind us in just a moment. I'm going to turn to the side here and just tap back. So again, your knees have a little bend in them. Practice your balance if you don't feel like you need to hang on to anything. And if you're seated, just see what you can do about trying to reach back a little bit. If there's room under your chair, you can reach under there. Right now, just keep, just keep yourself moving however you can. Tap back. Okay, let's take a moment and do some inhales. Let's do three. So inhale, arms up. And then exhale, reach your arms long, like you're trying to touch the walls on either side. Inhale up. And exhale. And one more. And exhale. Good. You have some shoulder rotations. Relax your neck, your shoulders. And let's do some circles going forward to the front here. If you want, you can just do one arm at a time. I'm really keeping in mind that you're rotating your shoulders and then back. Good, okay, and relax. Okay, uh, so let's do Inner, let's do a little outer inner thigh work before a jack gets here. I'm trying to stand so I can show you what I'm doing. So we're going to uh, swinging our leg out. We're, not, we're swinging it, but we're not throwing it out there. So you're lifting your straight leg to the side and then switching legs and lifting the other direction. Now as you lift, your leg is straight. Think about squeezing your outer thigh. Squeeze the outer thigh, squeeze it. 
And while you come back on one leg to stand on that leg, try to keep that leg, those leg muscles squeezed. Okay, so squeeze outer thigh. So as all of us get older, we need to remember uh, ways in which our muscles protect our joints. So your knees are supported by the muscles in your legs. Your inner and outer thighs muscles are really supporting your knees as well. So if your knee cap might be off a little bit, maybe your inner thigh muscles are a little loose and you can tighten them up and help to get those, uh, those areas in there straightened up a little bit. Layman terms all the way. <laughs> but um, not only does it make our legs stronger, but sometimes we forget that those muscles are supporting our skeleton. So we need to uh, keep some muscle tone for our structure. Okay, so speaking of inner thighs now, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna stand here. So we're gonna do something that we haven't done together. So you're in a plie pose, got your toes pointed out. So you go from hip width, so you wanna spread your legs apart just a little bit. And now your toes are pointing out about maybe 45 degree angle. And we're going to sit down. Now think about inner thighs, squeeze your inner thighs. As you come up, really squeeze the inner thigh muscles all the way through up to your glutes. So come down and keep the, keep the squeeze. So come down, inhale, and then exhale up. So we're really working our inner thigh muscle. You're really working all these muscles. But let's think about inner thighs, squeeze, and really squeeze, and squeeze. And technically, you don't even need to have your legs that far apart. So you're not going down too far. Just come down a little bit, bend those knees, and come up and really think about those muscles squeezing. So here's a new one that you can, sometimes I say, I talk about practicing your balance when you're, um, when you have some time, when you're, you're waiting for something or you might be on the phone and it's, it's or you're waiting for something to get on the phone. You can practice your balance. Here's something else you can do while you're standing. Now if you're seated, so let's keep moving, but if you're seated, you can take uh, anything. You can take your hands and do an isometric exercise. So squeeze your knees together. So you're right below your knee joint. Squeeze those thighs together. If you have a little ball, you might have an exercise ball, you can put it in between here and squeeze. So you're squeezing this muscle here, okay? And if you're sitting down waiting or watching TV or something, uh, this is a great one to do because you're actually already in position. You just need something to resist against here. So squeeze your inner thighs together and hold it. Let's just hold the squeeze. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. And then release it. Let's do that a couple, let's do that two more times. Okay, squeeze those muscles. Squeeze. And release. Okay, one more time. Doesn't look like we're doing anything, but we're working really hard on our inner thigh muscles. Okay, let's relax. And you know what, since we're right here anyway, why don't we do some glute squeezes? Let's squeeze our glutes here. Ready? Squeeze and just hold it. Now you can breathe and carry on a light conversation while you're squeezing. Keep squeezing. And release. Squeeze. and release. So really squeeze. So when you're squeezing hard, if it's not happening right away, it will. Where you're gonna, you're gonna feel your body coming up. You're just squeezing those muscles that you're sitting on. Really important. Our glutes, like all of the muscles in our body, our glutes, they play a really big role in, in supporting our skeleton. Uh, the way your lower back feels can be affected by how, uh, how well in shape your glutes are and relax. Keep squeezing 
and relax. Okay, let's stand up. And let's do a little bit more for the glutes. You know, they're just, you've got these, these, these muscles here. You just need to remember, sometimes they're easy to forget because we don't see them. So squeeze, squeeze. Remember, that's where your exhale is. The leg you're standing on, the supporting is getting a lot of work. Mine is getting fatigued. So I imagine yours as well. As well. All right, let's switch to the other leg. Squeeze, straight leg. And your heels are up, so you're not pointing your toe. You're, you're really pointing with your heel and down. Straight leg and down and squeeze. When you bring that leg behind you, really squeeze your glutes. Now, if you were laying down on the floor on your stomach and your legs are behind and you alternately lift your legs or you can lift one leg and then the other, kind of in a swimming, you're not only working your glutes, you're working your lower back. So there's, there's always more than one uh, reward for the moves that you're you're doing okay let's do a few more of those plies we'll go back to the inner, inner thighs a little bit down and then squeeze up down and squeeze up and squeeze Maybe you've seen people do this move in the gym a lot of bodybuilders do like this move they have their little right legs they've got big dumbbells in their hands are really squeezing up. So these work. We're not using any weights. We're working on repetition and really squeezing those muscles. So here's a new exercise to do while you're, uh, you have a few minutes to pass and you want something to do for your inner thighs. Keep them strong. Okay, that was fun. Have a great day. We'll see you uh, probably tomorrow. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, we are going to get set up Really quickly for Jack, if you want to come and have a seat, I'm going to give you a microphone. There we go. How are you today? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm <glad laughs> Had a great weekend. I hope everyone else did too. Um, and you're keeping safe out there. Uh, thank you, Veronica, for the exercises. It always is good good idea for us to um, keep moving we can't you know come to our classes here at the Johnson Center yet so we're doing a lot of online classes and on a schedule to because I think it's helpful when you get on a schedule and you know you're going to do exercise at 8 in the morning or you're going to do a virtual class at 2 in the afternoon that you can schedule that. Um, so check out our website at jocelyncenter.org. Um, we now have a calendar up there with regular classes and features that we're doing. And of course you don't want to miss Bling and Bingo. Uh, we never know what sport coat uh, Paul is going to be wearing. and. Um, I'm not sure. We're going to have to maybe get Rebecca some scarves and she can be uh, our scarf lady or something. <laughs> what do you think about that, Rebecca? <laughs> we'll do something fun. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We're trying to find more and more activities you can do and schedule them on a certain time to keep you engaged and active. And I, I know I just had a conversation of how difficult it can be for so many of us. We want to get out. We're social people. We're social beings. Um, and right now, especially, it's a good idea to stay home as much as you can. So that's what we're doing at the Jocelyn Center, doing as much as we can to keep you active and engaged, check out our website at jocelyncenter.org. Look on that calendar and you can find things you can do on a regular basis. And join us for Bling and Bingo because it really is a lot of fun uh, and there are prizes you can actually win. So uh, it's a great thing and there are some resources where you can get your bingo cards if you don't have any at home. Uh, and Rebecca can give you that information. So that's about all I have for an update. Oh, um, 
the weather's warming up again. Uh, this week it's going to be a little cooler. Uh, we're still considering whether uh, it will be safe for us to open as a cooling center, so we'll keep you updated on that. Um, but in the meantime, stay healthy. We miss you a lot. Uh, have a safe and sane 4th of July. I think the most you're going to be seeing fireworks are is on television. Um, but really have a, have a great holiday. We miss you. We really miss having our 4th of July uh, barbecue for you all we'll do it next year so thanks that's our update you can contact me directly jack in at jossencenter.org if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on what we should do and one more thing uh, we have a brain boot camp coming up uh, on july 1 uh, and if you really want to learn some great ideas about improving your mem memory and brain health um, get involved with the brain boot camp and you can call uh 340-3220 extension 117 uh, and Veronica who just did your exercise will help enroll you in that class. So that's all we've got for you today. Thank you and have a great day. Thanks Jack. Alright, let me get that from you and we will talk super quick. I'll remind you everything we've got going on the rest of the week. Ooh, sorry. Um, so bingo tomorrow, we talked about that. Wednesday afternoon, we have our brand new um, Technology Untangled workshop. That will be at two o'clock on Zoom. And then on Thursday, we have uh, our morning chat group on Zoom. And all through the week, there are all kinds of exciting things to do, like the virtual learning series, the pen pal program, and anything else. So if you need something to get involved with, just let me know. So I'm going to photobomb. See, we are doing a lot of stuff here online. So if you want to learn, this is a person to learn from. And give me a call if you need any help with any other technology. Okay, have a great week, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.